Hi, thanks for joining us at NOLA.com. I'm David Lee Simmons, entertainment reporter and manager of our bar guide coverage as well as our burlesque coverage. So two areas that uh, I cover kind of enjoyed this happy collision recently when I had the chance to interview commercial artist Robert Rodriguez, who just as in previous years has designed the poster for this year's Tales of the Cocktail Conference in the French Quarter. Mr. Rodriguez designed a burlesque and pinup themed poster for this year, which I think kind of speaks to years of work that he's done that kind of evoke a lot of different styles of American popular culture. So I thought we'd talk about that sensibility and the work that he's done in previous years as we get ready for Tales of the Cocktail, which runs July 15th through July 19th in the French Quarter. So. Robert, let's talk a little bit about your background uh, before we get to the actual poster and, and talk about the conference. You were born and raised in New Orleans, yes. and then you lived at different times in Los Angeles before settling back here a few years ago, and you started doing the, the poster regularly for Tales of the Cocktail. Talk a little bit about your upbringing and, and how you developed as a commercial artist. Well, um, I'd always wanted to be an artist of some sort. I'd wanted to work at Disney doing animation until I actually saw what animators did, and I just couldn't imagine doing that all day long. But uh, So I, I went to art school. Um, and this is in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. Uh, and, uh, and after that, I got my first job here at a design studio. And this is in on uh, Melpamine? Yeah, on okay. Mount Pamir. And what was the name of this place? Uh, Ted Drell Design. Okay. And uh, he was a great guy. Uh -huh. I actually did a, a, a Royal Sinester was starting that year, and I, I did their menu cover, and, and I did, uh, what else, um, McElhenney's Tabasco Sauce. Uh, classic. Yeah, so I did a lot of local projects here. Well, you definitely developed uh, a, 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 a fun pop culture uh, style that, that you've applied to a lot of different things, and we'll, I want, we we're going to go over those. But I first want to talk a little bit about the most recent uh, Tales of the Cocktail poster. This is your seventh poster, it is, yeah. and it really has this great kind of burlesque uh, pinup feel to it which is timely, uh, certainly for New Orleans, which has kind of undergone this renaissance of sorts, of, of new and retro, uh, neo-burlesque, as it were. Talk a little bit about uh, how they came to you for this year's theme and how they wanted you to execute and what inspired you to do this particular work. Uh, well, I mean, seven years ago when I started, they didn't have any posters, and a friend of mine was coming to New Orleans. Um, I had been working on things for his company, and he told me it was coming to Tales of the Cocktail. And I said, I don't know what that is. Uh, he said, uh, so he told me about it. So I looked him up. They didn't have a poster. So I called up Ann Tunerman, who oh. was the head of it, and uh, asked her if she'd like me to do a poster. Um, and I sent her my work. And she said, great, do it. And she said, just give me a place to sit. <laughs> and, and I can sell posters there. So um, I've been doing them ever since. So every year. Uh, they tell me what the theme is going to be and what the theme cocktail is for that year. Mm -hmm. And then I come up with an image and, uh, and that was, I had been wanting to do a girl in a martini glass for a long time. Why is that? Why, why? I just thought it would be fun. I really like doing pinup girls. I do a lot of that kind of work mm -hmm. myself in my other kind of work. And so I thought it'd be fun. I thought it appealed to people that are our regular set, Tales of the Cocktail. You've done a lot of really cool posters that people might recognize. Uh, right. They certainly will recognize the titles. So I was wondering if we could kind of go down a, a, just a sampling of, of, sure. of Robert's work. Um, many people might not know that you did a, a poster art for several movies that included uh, Jewel Denial, The Two Jakes, but also City Slickers 2. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll see that up on the screen. Uh, Talk a little bit about how you've done some of these. Like, how did City Slickers kind of City Slickers two evolve? Like, how did you get that job? Oh well, I'd been working, for doing a lot of in movies. They used to do when they don't use illustration very much anymore. It's mostly photography or computer rise. But um, in those days, you used to do uh, comps, a comprehensive uh, studies of movies, and I mean they do hundreds of these things. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, they picked three artists. They said, we don't have much time. Uh, we want all three of you to do the finish. And we're going to call you in in three days. 
and see how much you've got done and pick which one we want to go with. And in that case, they picked mine. Wow. Okay. Just so three days of no sleep. A little thinning <laughs> of the herd there, uh, yeah. competition-wise. I re you, you were speaking about this briefly. Let's talk about Boardwalk Empire, which is a phenomenal uh, Emmy Award-winning show on HBO. I think it just wrapped. Uh, Steve yeah. Buscemi, great cast. How did you come about the Boardwalk Empire uh, gig, so to speak? And also, you have a, we also talk a little bit off camera about a moment you had in New York uh, when, or, oh, or right. how they, they played it out. How did that work uh, come about? Uh, well, I had been teaching and a student of mine uh, uh, wound up being an art director. And she wound up, and a few years later, she wound up starting a design studio. Mm -hmm. And she gave me a lot of work, which was always fun. Um, and, uh, and the same art director that I had done the two Jakes for, mm -hmm called me up and asked me if I would do Boardwalk Empire, and I think I had like six weeks to do six paintings. Wow. And uh, I got started on them, and uh, it, it, they, uh, let's see, after about one week, they called me and said, stop, Martin Scorsese wants to use photography, but we're trying to work it out. <laughs> and HBO talked to him and said, we don't, do photography the first season of the actors because um, people don't know the characters yet. So the first season we create a mood and we do that better with illustration. So this season we're going to go with these and he agreed to do that. And now the second season by then people knew who the stars were and knew yeah. what roles they played. And so they, they uh, used they used photography from then on. I, I can't think of uh, too many more iconic images in terms of popular culture and, and, and branding and on products than the Quaker Oats label. Right. Uh, talk a little bit about that. You said that there was a very specific request that they had for you and how you were, were to approach this, well, this update of it. When they update symbol. him, they don't want to change him radically. They don't want to, you know, have people wonder what product this is. They, it has to connect with the old one. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they wanted him to be healthier looking, like he'd been out in the sun for a few days in the fields. Okay, okay. Um, they also wanted him to be a little bit thinner, and they wanted him to be happier. So he'd done some cycling, done some running, yeah. and a little hiking. Yeah, he was in better shape. <laughs> yeah. And then they, after I did it, they also took it and they compressed him a little bit a couple of, about four years later after I did him, and they compressed him on the computer. It's still my artwork, but <laughs> it sort of looks like his wig doesn't fit. <laughs> um. Well, uh, Robert Rodriguez, thank you so much, commercial artist, and the uh, artist of the most recent uh, Tales of the Cocktail uh, poster. Uh, you can check it out at Tales of the Cocktail, which runs Ju July 15th through the 19th at the French Quarter uh, locations all the way throughout. And if you'd like to see more of his work, uh, we will have it in a photo gallery slideshow on NOLA.com. And for NOLA.com NOLA in the Times-Picayune, I'm David Lee Simmons.